a little bit bigger. He's 6'6". He's a monster. He's gargantuan. I'm talking about Dylan Cousins. He's begging for someone to put some respect on his name. And after his 2016 season, I don't understand how you could not. He's flying under the rankings uh, radar. I mean, literally no one is talking about him. Yet he just put up a 40 home run, 20 stolen base season in double A. I mean, how can you not put some respect on that? The problem, he played for Reading of the Eastern League, the fight and fills of the Eastern League, which is primarily a pitcher-friendly league, with Reading being the outlier. Uh, It's true. Most, if not all, of his damage came in home games. I mean, he batted 295 with 29 homers and 83 RBIs in just 68 games. 29 out of his 40 home runs came at home. Uh, That's kind of absurd. That's kind of, you know, video game like. It's more MLB the show than MLB the reality. Uh, But, you know, before that, he hadn't shown much power. He did, you know, have 16 home runs in low A, Lakewood, which, by the way, is not a power-friendly park. So that kind of shows maybe there is some upside there. I get it. He had one greatly inflated season. Move along. But at 6'6", six, six, as I mentioned, the guy's gargantuan. So to think that he does possess that kind of power is something that you could buy into. He's also stolen 20 or more uh, bases for three straight seasons now. So the speed, you can't really, you know, you can't fluke speed. There's not better speed parks as opposed to lower speed parks. Uh, his average has been all over the place, but currently sits at 267 for his career. I'm not really sure if he's the high average guy, low average guy, but, you know, 265 with 20 more homers and 20 more stolen bases. That's a player that you should be wanting to target in Dynasty, and nobody seems to be on the Cousins train at this point. You know, sometimes players need to see the success they can have in order to believe the success they are capable of. Maybe this could be true for Cousins. Maybe he needed to have the season to now really launch and elevate his career. I'm not saying... I'm the high guy in Cousins, but I'm not the low guy either. He's somebody I'm intrigued with. I think you can get him for the cheap. Uh, and he's somebody, I, if I can get him cheap enough, I want him on my roster because I'd rather be sitting there if he does break out than not having gotten in when I could have. Yeah, and I think that, you know, Cousins is is definitely a polarizing prospect. Um, you know, you look at the raw athleticism. This kid was a D1 football prospect. Uh, coming out of high school when the Phillies drafted him, he chose baseball. You know, he's 6'6", just a massive man, uh, you know, had the 40 homers. And, and he was somebody that was on my radar coming into this season. I never expected to see him touch 40, you know, led, led all the, the the minor leagues in homers. Uh, Reading, obviously, was is probably the best hitting environment in all the minor leagues. Uh, the top two home run hitters in the minors, him and Reese Hoskins, uh, you know, led all of the minor leagues in homers. Um, there are some 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 things uh, with Cousins' profile that give me pause. I don't think that he's the 270 you know plus hitter that he was this season. I don't think he's a 40 home run hitter. I do think he has speed. I think he's got 20 20 upside, uh, but I think he's somebody who's going to struggle with a batting average. If you look at what he's done in winter ball, um, you know he's really struggled. He's hit a lot of homers. He might even lead. I, th- I think it's the Puerto Rican League in homers. If he's not number one, he's in the top five. Um, has some off the field issues. Got into a fist fight with Bogue Powell, one of his teammates down at Winter Ball. I guess they were kind of razzing him about not being able to hit hit off-speed pitches. Guy got pissed. I mean, you know, if you mess with a 6'6 guy, you know, if you mess with the bull, you're going to get the horns, you know, the train and the track, all those sort of expressions. It's one of those sort of things. Um, but there are some questions in terms of, you know, how um, Redding aided his power was. As you said, most of his homers did come um, in Redding. Uh, his home run to fly ball ratio was 33.8%. That is ungodly for a full season. Um, Gary Sanchez, uh, who had a 40% home run to fly ball ratio in his truncated major league uh, season this year. You know, that's not sustainable, but I think um, Sanchez is obviously, uh, in my opinion, a better player than Cousins is. So I have a lot of questions as to what he's going to do. It should be interesting to see what Cousins does next year at Lehigh Valley. I also think it's interesting that both he and Hoskins didn't get called up to Lehigh Valley at any point during the season uh, with the kind of numbers they were putting up. I imagine the Phillies wanted to uh, sort of pad their numbers, make them look a little bit better, maybe as potential trade targets. They do have a lot of outfielders and first basemen in that system right now. Uh, It'll be interesting what happens this year with Cousins. Um, As I've said before, I've covered him a lot over the last season as he was probably the top breakout prospect in 2016. Um, He's a guy that if you own him, I wouldn't be trading him. I'd be waiting and seeing what happens. And if he's somebody that you don't own, 
I'd probably wait and see what happens before trading for him. Unless the price tag is really low. He's not showing up in a lot of top 100 lists. Uh, surprisingly, when you think about the production, one would think they would at least sneak into the back end of a lot of those. Uh, if not a little bit higher, maybe 50 to 40, you know, just, just based on the production, the type of numbers that he's putting up. Like I said, he's not a 40 home run hitter, but I think if we're looking at a 230, 240 hitter in the major league level with 20 homers and 20 steals, that's a very useful player. You say you didn't think he'd touch 40, but he did touch 40. So does that mean he loves Cougars? I, I'm confused. Probably. <laughs> I know you're a Red Sox guy, but before before we move on, can we just make an agreement to to not bash Gary Sanchez any more than than you've already done to this point. I'm not bashing them. I'm just putting the numbers uh, out there so the people know. We got to give the people the information. The Kraken is a god. Uh, but going back to the Phils, going back to comparable players, uh, I think you know you had mentioned Darren Roof at one point as having similar kind of stat line to what Cousins has put up to this point and what has Roof done as a pro. I agree. I, I hear you. The big difference, though, is the speed. We agree mm -hmm. the speed is real. Roof didn't necessarily have that. And, you know, we keep talking about Redding being such a hitter's park and maybe inflated, maybe even doubled his home run total. So let's mm -hmm. say he's got 20 home run power and, you know, you just put a two times that because it was Redding. Fine. He said he's top five in home runs in the Puerto Rican League. I don't know that the Puerto, Puerto Rican League is a hitter's haven. Um, so He's doing it in other places. As far as, you know, getting into off-field, you know, uh, transgressions with teammates, listen, the guy is a monster. He's 6'6". You don't pick on a guy like that. You don't make fun of a guy like that because you're going to get knocked out, as maybe is the case in what happened. So that's a lesson for life, you yeah. know? Um, but anyway, uh, yeah, I, I – I, I agree with you. If you have cousins, you're loving it and hold tight on him unless somebody's willing to give you a fortune because they just happen to be, you know, a big Phillies fan or a big fan of six, six guys who like Cougars. But if I disagree with you in this aspect, again, if you can get him for a fair value, like a one for one, you know, mid-level prospect swap on somebody that's just like, let me get out of this guy while I can still get something before he becomes down roof, then take advantage of it. Yes. If somebody's asking for Brendan Rodgers or something, no, they're not on the same level at all. So that's where the weight kind of comes in. 